Hi everyone, so this is an intro scheme screencast to Custodio, which is an app that helps families manage screen time and online activity. So it's actually designed to be used in open conversation with children uh, to help support building healthy screen time habits together with ensuring safe and balanced digital use. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the example um, by myself, but if you're doing this at home, it's better to have a conversation with your child first. For example, using the CDNIS Responsible User Agreement. Um, so I'm going to start by logging in. Okay, so if you don't have an account, uh, you can click on Sign Up if it's your first time. I'm just going to pause this for now while I get logged in, and I'll come right back. Okay, so here we are. I've logged in. Now this isn't the first time I've used this, so I actually already have a subscription. Um, but you can see down here I have subscribed to the premium version. So the free version will only allow you to connect one device. So if your child has more than one device, then you'll already want to upgrade it to at least standard. The reason I upgraded to premium is that it allows more flexibility in the screen time settings. So this initial video, I'm just going to get some accounts set up and I'm going to walk you through um, why I'm doing it that way. So I'm going to click on start now. So the way I'm going to structure this is that instead of having two children, I have two daughters, instead of having two children with multiple devices under each of them, I'm going to create a separate child for each of their devices. Now, the reason being for this is that if you set up a daily, if you set up a, one child and then having a phone and a computer under that child, and then you set up a daily screen time limit, that daily screen time limit will apply to both devices. So once that's used up, say two hours, they can no longer use their computer or their phone. So in our case where they're using their computer for schoolwork, we do not want to have a time limit of only two hours uh, that we really want for the phone. So I'm going to, instead of just setting up two children with multiple devices under each, I'm going to set up a different child account for each device. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, some generic names here, but you would put in your own child's name. Okay. All right, and then come down here and we'll just put some parameters in here and then next. Okay, and I'm going to stop there, okay, because I'm going to come back and then set up the devices uh, that are going to be under this, uh, this iPhone. And I'm going to come back to my family and I'm going to add another child. Okay, so this is going to be child one again, but instead of having iPhone here, I'm going to say MacBook. And use the same settings. Now this does mean you'll have to manage both of these um, each time you want to update a setting, uh, but I think it's preferable. Okay, I'm going to come back to my family again. back to my family again. All right, so now I'm going to click on my family. All right, you can see that I have, according to the program, I have four children, but really it's two children, and I'm setting up uh, profiles for each of their devices. Uh, so that I can manage them separately. All right, so that's it for this first intro video. In the next screencast, I will uh, connect one of my children's phones 
to this device and then after that we'll do a MacBook and show how they work separately. So if you liked this video please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.